Why, hello, my pray it off BFFs. It's Ellen. Have you missed me? Well, I've missed you terribly. It is July 23rd, and I just got back from working four hours at in an abundant life. It's a mega church out in North Syracuse. They had this outreach at Fowler High School. Thousands of people came. It really was a powerful witness where uh, people in the community received food and, and heard about support services. It was hot, but it was okay. We're getting ready to go to church, and I thought I'd give you a little pep talk. As I mentioned, it's July 23rd. We only have seven weeks to go until September 8th. Now, many of you made a pledge that we would lose a certain amount of weight or stay the same by September 8th in support of our dear friend Kathy, who, as you all know, is valiantly fighting uh, her cancer. And she is on her second round of chemotherapy. And we need to not only surround her with prayer, but we have to keep our pledges. Bob and I went on vacation from June 30th until um, July 10th. And thank you again for your generous gift that allowed us to have a wonderful vacation. And I want you to know, this isn't like, oh, Ellen's so great. I'm telling you this because I'm such a believer in the uh, natural lifestyle that I never had pizza, chips, nothing. I stayed religious on the uh, Whole30 plan the entire vacation. Now, I did have some seltzer water with some flavored vodka, but never too much, never overdoing it, just enough to, you know, be sociable playing games. I had one of the ve best vacations I've ever had without overeating, without drinking to excess. And for the first time ever, I didn't gain 8 or 10 pounds. Came right back, got right back in the saddle, and I am on my way to losing the 10 pounds that I personally pledged to lose for Kathy by September 8th. I'm just hoping, I haven't run into a lot of you, and I miss you, and I'm hoping you're having a great summer. And... Eating less and moving more and praying is not a punishment, it's a reward. Uh, I am a firm, firm believer. And when I saw how the Abundant Life people, hundreds of volunteers, reached out today to provide food and resources, it was a powerful witness that Christ has no body here on earth but ours. We are the hands and feet to do his work. I'm reading a book now by Lee Strobel called The Case for Christ. This guy worked for the Chicago Tribune. He was, he's a lawyer and he uh, is an atheist. So he wanted to prove that Christ didn't exist. He wanted to get historical, all kinds of data to prove it just was a myth, a crutch for those of us who just couldn't handle life. By the end of his three year, or I think three year, a long time research, he became a Christian. That's how powerful his research was. Lee Strobel, The Case for Christ. Ellen McCauley is reading a book like this. No one's making me. I want to. I can't put it down. That's how compelling it is. I'm excited to start on September 8th. Tell your chunky friends. Tell your chunky neighbors. Have them give me a call. It's going to be three hardcore months, September 8th to December 8th, and then we're going to have a break. Wouldn't you like to lose 10 pounds from September 8th to December 8th and, and, and not have to worry about that at Christmas time? And then we're going to start session 19 with a bang in January and go right through till June. I'm pumped. I miss you. Now, August 20th, is Bob Frank's golf tournament. It's I think it's it's you know there's golf. I'm gonna send a flyer uh I'm gonna send an email with a copy of the flyer and there's twelve of us so far who are signed up to go to the dinner and there's tables of eight so I'd love to have sixteen I'd love to have more 
Uh, I'll give you all the details in the email, but what a wonderful way for us to support Whole Me, which helps you know deaf and hearing impaired children in Bob's memory. Bob is in heaven now. I am positive. And I loved him, loved him. And Judy and her family are just so behind this uh, event. And I just am so excited to show Judy and, and to support Homie in Bob's memory. So I'll send the flyer. And guys, if you haven't done well so far, that's okay. But we got seven weeks. Step away from the hot dog. Stop going to the polar parlors. You have had ice cream. You have had hot dogs. You have had mac and potato salad. We all know what they taste like. Let's keep our pledges. I'm going to give you a huge hug either on August 20th or September 8th. God bless you all. You're in my daily prayers. I love you. Talk to you later. Bye now.